Good evening once again. Um, so since the last video, um, there's been quite a few changes. Um, what happened is we had the negotiation week, so four of those. Um, if you're not familiar with pairs, I think maybe in the summer transfer, I'll do like a video just on the transfers as they happen. Um, but basically each week you can negotiate for players. I believe, I can't remember what the maximum is in pair 6, but I, I think it's 5 that you can negotiate with it one time. You basically um, apply, well, you, you bid for a player, like transfer fee and the contract at the same time. And if you're successful, or, or even failure, it'll be the next week. So when you click next week, any negotiations that you've started, they'll either fail or su succeed the next week. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. You know, there's no, um, in some more than modern games, you know, sometimes you have to wait like a few weeks, sometimes you have to wait shorter. And you also have negotiations for your players as well. So you get a number of bids in for your players. And because of that, there has been some changes. And I think I've had a pretty successful transfer window. And what we'll do is we'll have a look and you'll see some changes straight away. So, first of all, I managed to get a new centre-back, so Gavardiol, I think he played for, is it Red Bull Salzburg, or Leipzig, I can't remember, um, but left-footed, which isn't ideal because Botman's left-footed as well, however, um, strong defender, uh, fairly decent on the ball, um, but a lot of room for improvement. And we did get a bid in for Shaw, who was my original first choice centre back. But I have declined to sell him. I'm going to keep him. He will be, you know, have the odd cup game and uh, come on as a sub and injuries and things like that. So, going to keep him for now. But he is uh, getting to that sort of. I think he's either 29 or 30. So at some point we are probably going to have to sell him. He is on a downward trajectory on his development. So he will start declining at some point soon. Um, Declan Rice, another player I bought. I really wanted a defensive, like a, a, an out-and-out -out defensive midfielder who I could slot in there and with the new formation we decided on, free up the attacking midfielders to, to go out. And Bruno can play in defensive mid. Um, Joe Linton can. I've uh, got a number of players who can, but you wouldn't say they're out-and-out -out defensive midfielders. He's, I mean, he's, again, he's good on the ball, etc., but very, very good defensively. Very solid. One of the key buys we got was Liao. Um, I'll come back to him in a minute, but he looks just amazing. Um, we got Rainer from Dortmund. Um, again, very young. You know, his, his stats aren't like absolutely amazing right now, um, but he will challenge for one of those three sort of attack midfielders. You can play as a wide forward as well, so depending if we change lineup, that could potentially change as well. And you'll see a few names missing. Um, we did sell the likes of, who did we sell? Um, we sold our third choice goalkeeper, we sold Murphy. Um, yeah, a couple of players. Um, but Liao was the star buy. Now, I was going for Alvarez as well for Manchester City uh, as another young sort of forward. Liao can play pretty much anywhere across the, the front, um, either the front of the midfield or anywhere across um, attack. So, initially I've got me as um, the left-sided attack midfielder, which um, I know from watching him play for AC Milan, he prefers being on the left, uh, he's right footed, so I'm going to stick him over there. Armoron on the right and Gumeresh, um in the centre. He's going to be given a bit more licence for freedom and a bit more uh, attack and creativity rather than defensive duties. Um, and obviously Callum Wilson and, and he's like up front. However, Armoron could potentially play as a second striker. We could change one of these to the second striker. Liao, again, he can play there. Um, who else? You know, you've got Anderson can play anywhere across the sort of centre of midfield. Joe Linton could play as a cent 
a second striker or even a defensive midfielder. He's pretty flexible. Rayner again, he could be a wide forward. Willock, same. Got Maximum to come in. He can play as a second striker. So you see we've got a lot of cover now in the midfield and, and forward areas because we've got a lot of flexibility. Somehow, I think we're going to be looking for a second choice goalkeeper. And a second choice goalkeeper will be a youngster. Don't know who it'll be yet. Um, haven't really looked into that yet. But someone we can develop. Now, Nick Pope's 29. That's not really a massive age for a goalkeeper. Um, he's still got quite a few years left of him before he declines. So that's fine. He will be our number one goalkeeper for some time. But we want a backup that we're going to benefit from playing maybe in the cup matches. And that'll be, um, you know, probably a goalkeeper, you know, 23, 24 years of, of age at the most. Hopefully younger. Um, I was even thinking of, well, potentially, you know, maybe not the summer, maybe not even next season, but Donnarumma. But again, he's, I think he's about 23, 24 now. So not sure. And he'll cost a bomb. Um, next on the priorities for players to buy would be a right back. That's not because, you know, Trippi is bad. He's a fantastic player, obviously. You know, passing accuracy, everything like that. But again, we don't really have a lot of cover right back. We've got Manquillo, but he's not that great. Um, 27, so he's not going to re really improve any at all. Um, so we we'll want, again, a young right back to, you know, vie for that position with Trippier. Trippier probably still will be number one for some time. Um, target, that's fine. We've got Lewis, so we've got cover there. If a left back comes up, great, we'll get him. And that's it, really. I don't think we need too much, but probably will go for another out and out striker. Cal Wilson's 30, so maybe go back in for Alvarez or someone similar. Um, yes, we've got cover, but the other players will be playing up top, um, not as their favourite position. So maybe want another out and out centre forward. Um, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the transfer window. Um, and this is probably going to be our first choice lineup. But again, you know, maximum fantastic player. Willock's been playing well. Not sure how Rain is going to do. Anderson, a young stand, really keen to improve. So this will switch around quite a lot. And what we'll do now is we'll look at actually who's going to start today. Um, great, it's got some reds and... Ooh, it's going to be tricky. So, I definitely want to give Liao a start because he is literally now our, you know, superstar. Um, yeah, Lewis, he can come in for target because he's on a red. I'm going to leave Shaw and Kilo. I don't think. No, I want Declan Rice to start. You know that. Yeah, let's leave it at that. Um, let's see how we get on. I'm, re I'm really looking forward to seeing. What Liao does, but I really think Declan Rice can really give us that confidence in in defence that um, we can just let loose with the with the forwards. And here we go. Let's start the uh, ooh, the colours are clashing a little bit, aren't they? Not so much. I think Mai's gotten used to it a little bit now. So a few seconds. You know, I want this team to settle quickly, but I'd love to see a, a high-scoring game. Obviously, you know, goals for me, but Declan Weiss getting an early, early touch. And Liao now as well. Nice ball to Lewis. Well, it was worth a crack. Probably being a bit ambitious just because it's Liao. Well wide. A few feet wide there. See, Declan Rice win that ball. I just, I've got a feeling he's going to be his strength. Um, 
his defensive capabilities, it's just going to really improve the team. See there, just getting stuck in. And there, Liao tracking back. And winning the ball. And losing the ball. And winning the ball, no. <laughs> nice tackle there. I didn't realise they were playing such a high line. I was saying, where's all the defenders? But <laughs> they were right in front of me. Um, okay, wasn't looking at the little radar at the bottom there. Ah, poor ball from Wilson. Pope came rushing out just as well. Almiron's been in fine uh, form. Liao. Out wide to Trippier. Can he put in a decent ball? No. Defender blocks it. But gets it back. And again, oh no. Just lost it there. I mean, we've been solid so far, if not, you know, spectacular at all. I don't understand some of the passes. Like, I'm obviously playing it to Liao. Why, why would he pass it that short? Um, it's strange. That does happen sometimes. Oh, Armand breaks the line there. Just kept it in. It's going to be a foul for a minute. That'll be a corner. And we're definitely going to have Almon take this to get the, the in swing it. Oh, Nelly and on goal. Not a lot of space here. Yep, Leah manages to get it back there. Now Lewis. Lovely finish. That's more like it. Callum Wilson really hasn't been on form. I know he hasn't been starting a lot of matches, but that's what we need from him. Not sure on Declan Rice's hair, we might need to edit that. Is he grey? But a nice pass in, nice little turn, and a neat finish. So, like I say, it hasn't been a spectacular first half, but it's been solid. Um, the formation is a lot better. Some of my passing's been a bit wayward, but that can improve. Um, what a lovely ball through. Off their own defender, I think. Yeah. Nice ball from uh, Rice there. Now Wilson. Not white to Isaac. Nice ball. Just no one at the far stick, really. Another corner. This will be the last chance of the half. Oh. 
nearly fall to where towards the net but like I say a solid first half we'll skip the highlights and we'll just jump straight back in Been a bit sloppy there. I mean, it was me, but you know. Um, good tackle from Bruno. Ooh, clear it. Good block. That could have been uh, dangerous there. at the minute that's offside Whew. probably make some changes in a 5 or 10 minutes he yeah, has through here he is very pacey but he's not going to be able to get through there Nice take from uh, Bruno there, a nice ball out wide. <sighs> Nearly caught him out there. Corner. What we'll do is we will make some changes. I think I'm going to rest Trippier. Put Mankio on. I think we'll bring on Joel Linton. Um, Foley out. He's done a good job. And let's give I think Anderson for Gamresh. Nope, uh, we want a right footer, so who do we want? No, we want Joel in, really. I tell you what, let's, let's put actually Declan Rice in there. Oh, I'm not quite sure what I'm there. Um, oh, nice ball through to Lewis. A nice ball to armor on, but you can't quite get above the defender there. Nearly getting through, but not quite. Good tackle, but some other. I don't know. Nice ball out wide to Joe Linton. He's got plenty of space to maneuver into here. Ah, that's two. Easy tap in from, from Isaac there. I need a stick on either Isaac or Isaac. <laughs> yeah, Joe Linton just breaking down the flank. They're obviously trying to get forward a bit more, and it's a simple tap in. So, 70 minutes gone, and it's looking fairly comfortable now. Just need to be sensible, but um, hopefully we can get maybe another goal. Isaac's through. And it's three! I thought he was offside for a second. Uh, must have been close. There's a, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I mean... There's been close teammates and there's that. So, um, yeah, lovely finish from Isaac there. Nice. 
definitely want a few few more from him because he he's, he's had some good games, but he's missed some really good chances in in others as well, and it hasn't cost us any points. But um, and he's through again here. Surely not. Ooh. Now if that went in, that would have been best goal of the season um, from that angle. But there's no one in support, so I thought I might as well go for it. Declan Weiss wins it back and he plays a nice ball to Isaac. Now Wilson. Oh, it was a poor ball. It was wide open. Had a big margin for error there, but right into the keeper's hands. Nice tackle from Anderson as well there. Is that Pelney? Oh, close. Um, free kick accuracy. Let's do it. Let's just... Thought might as well for a hat trick. There's no one else really good at free kick, taking free kicks even. Um, obviously, Trippy is probably our best, but he was subbed a while back. So a few minutes left, looking comfortable, or well, more uncomfortable. Nice header from Botman, but they get it back. Declan Weiss breaking things up as well. Now Almond breaking things up. And a nice ball out uh, to Wilson and Joe Linton's on the charge now. Isaac. It's the hat trick. Oh no, it's it on goal. Oh, I thought it was the hat trick. Oh, that's pretty unlucky. close isn't it it must have been though I mean it must have come off the defender keep the clean sheet brilliant Well, just goes to show the the changes we've made, um, not just with the personnel, but with the formations, really making a difference now. Um, best result of the season, probably the best we've played. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. We're going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed. Um, you know, I, I don't normally say, it, but please like and subscribe if you can, and, and leave any comments below if you've. Um, you know, if you've if you've got any ideas, if for players to buy, um, any thoughts on the series, anything you'd like to see, um, drop it down below. Um, but thank you very much, and I'll speak to you all soon.